Hi, my name is Mike Hayton from Writington in England. I'd like to show you a new uh, technique for dynamic wide awake wrist arthroscopy. Wide awake surgery has been championed by Don Lahondi from uh, Canada for many years now. And this is a, uh, a recent development that I have uh, used, uh, particularly to uh, look for ligament instability such as scapher lunate uh, gaping uh, in real time. Historically, I've used the Geisler classification often with the patient to sleep, using the probe. But uh, this technique um, allows patient biofeedback to uh, assess any gapping uh, or any abnormal uh, movements uh, within the corpus. Uh, classically, uh, in normal wrist arthroscopy, the patient's fingers would be in finger traps and therefore unable to make a, a full fist. In this particular case, I've used an, an anaesthetist chin strap. Uh, the patient grips their hand over the chin strap, which is quite comfortable. The patient then uh, is secured uh, using an op, op tape uh, that wraps around the hand and securing the, uh, the hand over the, uh, over the chin strap. It's important that uh, the patient does feel secure during this procedure as they would not want the finger to drop down by the side intraoperatively. It's worth asking the patient several times before you start the procedure yeah. to uh, gently you grip, grip you uh, so you can gauge how strong their grip is. Um, and also they can understand what's expected of them during the procedure. Intraoperatively, when the arthroscope is inside the joint, it's important that the metal um, scope isn't inserted too far uh, as uh, you would not want any inadvertent bending of the, uh, of the scope during heavy gripping. So you need to keep the, uh, the camera right at the edge of the um, capsule. Obviously we do this with no tourniquet, Portals are infiltrated with lignocaine with adrenaline to prevent any bleeding and I usually infiltrate the joint during the procedure with chirocaine but on occasions it can be performed uh, as a dry arthroscopy uh, without too much discomfort at all for the patients. But generally speaking I um, infiltrate with chirocaine during the procedure. I put the uh, lignocaine in uh, immediately prior to starting the procedure and it doesn't seem to affect. In this uh, video you can see I'm looking at the uh, radiocarpal joint with the scaphoid above and the radius below, I'm asking the patient to grip and then relax, moving centrally towards the uh, scapho lunate membranous portion, visualized here, again asking the patient to grip and then relax. And then as we move towards the ulnar aspect of the joint, we can repeat the command and ask the patient to grip. And relax. And now we've moved up to the mid carpal joint, the scaphoid above, the scaphoid unit interval below. In this particular case there is a little bit of gapping, but it's probably within normal limits. In real time we can ask the patient to grip using the uh, arthroscope right at the edge of the capsule just to uh, prevent uh, any inadvertent uh, uh, damage to the arthroscope or the cartilage. Patient to grip and then relax. So in summary, I, uh, I really think that dynamic wide awake wrist arthroscopy um, uh, does have a role to play, uh, particularly for assessing um, instability in the wrist. It's certainly a more advanced technique and uh, one should be familiar with uh, uh, wrist arthroscopy uh, with the patient asleep before attempting to uh, perform this uh, type of procedure, which I now routinely perform in the vast majority of my patients uh, if they are happy to tolerate uh, such wide awake uh, uh, surgery. It obviously has many advantages over a general anaesthetic for the patients. Thank you for your attention.